Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a subject that is very near and dear to my heart and that is Colourpop palettes. I get so many requests to do an updated ranking all my Colourpop palettes video. I did one a long time ago and the number of palettes Colourpop has released since then has skyrocketed. It is so intimidating for me to think about ranking all of them. Colourpop palettes are some of my favorite palettes in my collection. That's not going to surprise anybody who's watched my channel at all. I review a lot of them, I do a lot of comparisons, they always turn up in my favorites. So I decided to take a smaller approach to this project and today I'm just going to be ranking all of my nine pan palettes. There are only 13 of them, that's all that Colourpop has released at least in this point in time. Probably in the next few days by the time I edit and upload this video they'll have released like five more but right now they have 13 of them. I have them all, I've used them all, and today I'm going to rank them all. So before we get into it I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm not just going to hold up each palette and tell you why I put it where I put it in my ranking. I'm actually going to work through the process of ranking them with you watching me kind of over my shoulder. Just keep in mind this is based on my opinions, my style, my preferences, and if you like different palettes, if you hate the ones I love or love the ones that I ranked lower in the list, then just keep in mind it's all based on opinion. This is very, very subjective. You know, no hard feelings if we have a difference of opinion. This is just what I like and not so much like based on my preferences and having used all of these palettes it's easy for me to kind of compare them against each other. So let's just get to the fun part, let's put these palettes in order and work through them and then I'll wrap up my final thoughts at the end. Okay here are all of the Colourpop 9 pan palettes. As of this moment in time when I'm filming there are 13 of them I think and I have all 13 of them here. So instead of just sitting down and presenting the list to you, I'm gonna sort of work through my process of ranking them with you here watching. So let's first just kind of spread these out and take a look at everything that we have here. Alright, here are all 13 of the 9 pan palettes and I think what I'm going to do first is just sort of roughly sort out my top and bottom picks and that way I can kind of start to really rank them. I'm going to start to sort out my favorites from my not so favorites and then we'll really put these in order. Okay, that was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. So in this pile I have my favorites. These are ones that are sort of in the middle for me and these are my not so favorites. That part was easy but I think actually sorting these into some kind of order is going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's start with the, with the bottom ones and just let's open these up and take a look here. We have the Orange You Glad palette, the Just My Luck palette, the Main Squeeze palette, Baby Got Peach, this is the newest one, and the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, the yellow one. So these are kind of the bottom for me and I'm going to be really honest with you, the main reason why these three are in the bottom is because they have that pressed glitter and I just I don't like it. It's not eye safe. No matter what you do it's not going to be eye safe. I just I'm not a fan of the pressed glitter so that really kind of knocked these down to the bottom pretty automatically for me. Okay. 
Now, the reason that Main Squeeze and Just My Luck are here, Main Squeeze didn't have enough variation for me, and we did also have a little bit of the not eye safe issue. Um, for when it comes to pigments, that's not as big of an issue to me because you can patch test, so there is the ability to use these not eye safe shades safely, whereas there just simply isn't for the glitters. I don't care what you say. I've had people argue with me about that. You do what you want. You're an adult. You can do what you want, but there's nothing you can do that's going to make these safe. So anyway, that's enough of that. So this one just didn't have enough variation for me, and I actually don't mind the shades in just my look. I'm just frankly not a green person, so I think that's why I sort of put these more towards the top end of the bottom. I'm not quite sure of the order of these yet. This is probably pretty similar to the Soul palette and I like that one quite a bit better. Also, the Baby Got Peach palette is very, very similar to Sweet Talk. Um, so, I just felt like the yellow palette, Aha uh -huh Honey, didn't have enough shade variation for me but at least it is a little bit more unique in terms of their palette line. So I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put them in this order. So I think this is gonna be the bottom of the barrel for me. This is gonna be the rank with Baby Got Peach being last. You know, I said in my review, I don't hate the palette. I don't hate the color scheme, it's just, it's really, really too similar to Sweet Talk for me. So, all right, that's sorted out. Move those down while we work up here. These are the three palettes that I put in the middle. Now I know some people may be surprised to see Blue Moon here since I'm not really known for being a big blue eyeshadow wearer, but I do think they did a great job in terms of creating this palette, curating this palette, and just giving us a lot of variation, staying really true to that monochromatic color scheme, but not making it very one note. So these are sort of the middle section for me. I like the Ooh La La palette, but I feel like the other like pinky purple palettes, It's My Pleasure and Strawberry Shake, I prefer to this one. Some of these shades were like a little bit dry for me. Um, I really love this metallic shade called Tickled. I know a lot of people have that one show up broken because it is very, very soft. I really like this Soul palette in general, but w color wise, I don't really get going that much. I think that as far as the warm neutrals go, the Brown Sugar palette and even the Mar palette, which is similar to this, but with pops of blue instead of orange, um, I much prefer that combination, so that's why this one's kind of in the middle for me. I think these three could probably be pretty interchangeable. I'm actually going to put Blue Moon towards the top here. Um, yeah, I think this is the order I'm going to go with, just simply because I do quite like this for a blue palette. I'm not big into actually wearing an all blue look. But in general, I do think this is a pretty good palette, honestly. So I think this is the order I'm gonna go in. These two could be interchangeable in the place that I'll rank them, but I'm comfortable with this. All right, these are my top favorite nine pan palettes. Nobody's gonna be surprised to see a couple of very neutral palettes in here. The Brown Sugar palette. Here's It's My Pleasure. Proceed with caution. This is the this was in collaboration with Shayla. Brown sugar was in collaboration with Karuchi. Here's the Mar palette I was talking about earlier. And the strawberry shake palette. Mine's been difficult to open. Alright, there we go. So these are my favorites of the nine pans. And this boils down to these are the shades that I liked the most, the shadows that performed the best for me, and in terms of variety and finish and depth, I felt like I really got a lot from these palettes. 
So, ugh, this part's gonna be tough for me because I really do quite enjoy all of these. Let's just sort of play around with this order a little bit. These are definitely my top two. These are the two I've just used the most, enjoyed the most. <sighs> okay, I think I've finally settled on this as my final order. The Shayla Proceed with Caution here in spot number five. Strawberry Shake in place number four. This one is newer to my collection, but I've just really liked this one from the get-go. And the Mar palette is in third place for me. I love this combination of some beautiful, just neutral and bronzy brown type of shades with these three greenish blue pops. This is the kind of combination that really, really works for me when I do want to do a blue or a green. I like these kind of shades alongside. So this palette just really works for me for my style. I've talked about this brown sugar palette in an underrated neutrals palette video. I just, I just love this. There's nothing wrong with it. The formula is beautiful. You can probably tell mine's a quite a, a little bit dirty, but you know, this is a palette that gets a lot of love. I love the layout with the three shimmers in the middle. It just, everything about this works really well for me. And man, it's my pleasure is just unbeatable. As soon as I think about what's my favorite nine pan, my mind automatically goes to this one. This palette just, it has everything I want and I just really love using it. So that is my final lineup. Let's see if I can fit all these in here. So we have number 13, Baby Got Peach. 12 is Orange You Glad. 11, Aha uh -huh Honey. 10 is Main Squeeze. Nine is Just My Luck. Eight is The Soul Palette. Seven is Ooh La La. Sixth place is The Blue Moon Palette. This one definitely ended up ranking higher than I thought it would. Fifth place is Proceed With Caution. Fourth is Strawberry Shake. Third is The Mar Palette. Second place is The Brown Sugar Palette. Definitely a close second here. And my number one top pick for the nine pans is It's My Pleasure. She's a pleasure to use, all right. So that's it. That was actually a lot less painful than I expected it to be. I didn't really agonize over my decisions as much as I thought I would. And I'm pretty happy with how my ranking list turned out. I do reserve the right to change my mind in the future, but for now, I'm pretty happy with how this list turned out. Like I said in the beginning, this is just based on my own style, my own preferences. So if you have a different opinion, that is awesome. I would love to hear which palettes you love the most and why. I'm all for like a friendly, healthy discussion. But just remember, at the end of the day, this is, you know, it's just makeup. It's just eyeshadow palettes. So nothing that we need to get upset about. But you, you guys are usually pretty awesome about that. So I'm just kind of putting that out there just in case anybody gets their feelings a little bit hurt. But... Just know, it's no hard feelings, this is just my preference. I'm slowly dipping my toe into the waters of actually ranking all my palettes. That would be just a huge project. And you know, the things that I like or the things that I prefer tend to shift over time. So we'll see, I don't know, maybe it, it would be a really fun project even though it's quite an overwhelming project, but are you guys into it? Should we do it? I don't know. I know you're gonna say we should, but I'm a little bit intimidated. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite palettes are. Do you agree with my ranking? Do you completely disagree? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. My dad's calling. I'll call you back, dad. Whew. Hot. Sweating. <laughs> I think ColourPop should let me collaborate on a nine pan. What do you guys think? 
if I got to make a nine pan palette, what would you want me to do? This is not foreshadowing. Like this is not in the works at all. Let me just be very clear. But I think that would be awesome. Mm -mm 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 nine pan palettes. Sometimes people go really hard for their favorites and it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about as usual. It's fine. And uh, that wasn't cute. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. I just said I wouldn't do it again and then I made another gross face. Sometimes I get a little weird by the end of the day. It's just, it's just what happens. Okay. All right. Bye.